Hello, today I'm going to show you how to adjust the lighting and color of your photograph in Adobe Photoshop. So what we're going to do is we're going to import our photo in Adobe Photoshop. So just go ahead and click open. <clears throat> and from there you can go to locate the photograph that you want to import into Photoshop. Select that photograph and then click open on the bottom right hand side. So the first thing we're going to do is add a couple adjustments. So we're going to come down here to the bottom right hand side and we are going to add a new adjustment layer. The first one we're going to add is brightness and contrast. So brightness is just the overall lightness or darkness of the photograph. So what we're going to do is just, as you can see, as I increase it, the photograph gets lighter. But what I want to do is make this a little bit Next, darker. I'm going to adjust the contrast. So I'm just going to increase the contrast. Contrast is just like the visual ratio of a different tones in an image. So as I increase this, you can see that the green is more vivid. So I think I'm just going to leave the contrast there. And next, we're going to be adding a hue and saturation adjustment. So I'm just going to go down here and select hue and saturation. So hue is the visible spectrum of basic colors that can be seen in the rainbow. So when you adjust the hue, depending on which direction you go, you can see that um, as I go to the right towards the blue, there's the blue is going to intensify in the image. And then if I go to the right, it's going to be more of a green. So what you're doing is you're shifting color values of your image when you are changing the hue. And then when you increase the saturation, you're basically intensifying the colors in the photograph. So as you can see, when I increase the saturation, the green becomes more vivid and intense. And then lightness is just simply making your image lighter or darker. So next we are going to select the vibrance option. So when you increase the vibrance on an image, you are increasing the intensity of the more muted colors. It will actually leave the saturated colors alone. So I just want to increase the vibrance a little bit to bring some more life to the photograph. And again, um, you can also increase the saturation to make the colors more vivid. So I'm actually just going to increase that a little bit. Um, you can also use the layer mask function when you add in a layer adjustment like this. So what I did is I clicked on the layer mask and now I'm going to select my paintbrush tool. And I'm going to come up here and I'm going to select the soft round hard brush. So right now I have the brightness and contrast layer mask selected. And what I can actually do is go into the image and I can paint or take away that layer adjustment on specific areas of the photograph. So let's just say I don't want that brightness and contrast on the mountains in the background. I can simply paint over that area. And as you can see, it's taken away that brightness and contrast that I created earlier. Now, if I want to bring that back, I simply just change my foreground color to white. So white is gonna bring back whatever adjustment I created and black. If the foreground color is black, you're gonna take away whatever adjustment you created earlier. That's why it's great to just create the layer adjustments as a separate layer in your project so that you're not directly impacting the original photograph. So if you want to make adjustments to the photograph, you can. And if you decide that you don't want to use, for instance, maybe the hue and saturation, all you can, all you have to do is just delete the hue and saturation and it's not going to affect your original photograph and the other adjustments that you've made. So now as you can see, I have the hue and saturation layer mask selected and I'm just showing you with um, the foreground color being black, I'm painting over the areas that I don't want that hue and saturation adjustment to be. So uh, you can see just a slight change when I paint over these areas. And if you wanna see like a before and after, all you have to do is click on the visibility icon and you can see that before and after of after you made the adjustment and if you want to see the before and after for every adjustment that you made, um, you can simply click the option key first and then hit the visibility or alt key depending on whether you're using a Mac or a Windows. Thank you so much for watching. Please check out my artwork at digitalarteffects.com and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this.